Welcome back to another episode from Powerhouse San Pedro. My name is Bob Andrade, and this is a power surge of thought. It's okay to start over. Due to circumstances in my life, there have been many times that I had to simply start all over again. Someone once said that the average person totally recreates themselves a minimum of five times in their life. How many times have you had to start all over again? What if the chapter you are in right now is done and a new chapter is ready to begin? Where did we get the idea that the potholes, failures, and interruptions in our life are always a bad thing? What if potholes, failures, and interruptions are a good thing? Throughout my life, I have started all over again a number of times, and I'm not done. I have never met anyone that have had no potholes, failures, or interruptions along their life's journey. In fact, the majority of people I have met in life have made many mistakes, including myself. Albert Einstein once said, a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Why do so many of us fear failure? What is it that shapes our life and our character? What if our character, the essence of who we are, is shaped by all the potholes, interruptions, and failures in our lives? The fear of failure causes us to stay in a limited area of life. We tend to keep ourselves from trying something new because of a fear of failure. What if we didn't fear failure? Paulo Kahlo once said, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. What would it be like if we begin to view failure as a productive part of our life? Difficult and hard times come and go in our life. What if we could actually gain something or even benefit something from our failures and difficult times? Gaining something comes into the picture when we learn from our mistakes and most difficult challenges. The problem is that many people just play off hard times and failures. Too many people push them aside and learn to change nothing from situation to situation. And then the situation repeats itself over and over and over again without any greater wisdom in knowing how to stop it. Failure and hard times should be our teacher, not our undertaker. What if failure is simply a delay, not a defeat? What if failure is only a temporary detour, not a dead end? What if the only problem with failure is allowing it to stop us? Abraham Lincoln failed in acquiring almost every position he sought out for, but that didn't stop him. Abraham Lincoln never seemed to give up. His road to the White House was anything but easy. In 1816, as a boy, his family was forced out of their home, and so he had to work to support them. Then his mother died. And in 1831, he failed in business. The next year, he ran for state legislature and lost. 
And then he lost his job. He then wanted to go to law school, but couldn't get in. In 1833, he then borrowed some money from a friend to begin a business. And by the end of the year, he was bankrupt. He spent the next 17 years of his life paying off this debt. And then in 1834, he ran for state legislature again and won. The next year, he was engaged to be married, and then his sweetheart died, and his heart was broken. The next year, he had a total nervous breakdown and was in bed for six months. Two years later, he sought to become Speaker of the State Legislature, and he was defeated. Two years after that, he sought to become State Elector, and was defeated. Three years later, he ran for Congress and lost. Three years after that, he ran for Congress again. This time, he won. He went to Washington and did a good job. Two years later, he ran for re-election to Congress and lost. The very next year, he sought the job of land officer in his home state and was rejected. Five years later, he ran for Senate of the United States and lost. Two years later, he sought the vice presidential nomination at his party's national convention and got less than 100 votes. Two years later, he ran for U.S. Senate again and again he lost. And then two years after that, he was elected president of the United States of America. The Beatles started off their career by being rejected by Decca Records and said this about the Beatles. We don't like their sound and they have no future in show business. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Walt Disney was once fired from a newspaper for, quote, lacking imagination and having no original ideas, unquote. What if the Beatles didn't try another record label? What if Michael Jordan never tried out for another basketball team again after being rejected? What if Walt Disney let the criticism of newspaper executives stop him from trying again? The Beatles did keep trying. Michael Jordan didn't let those coaches end his dream of playing basketball. And Walt Disney took that criticism and used it to develop an even greater imagination. Failure is something we can avoid only by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. Dennis Waitley. What if criticisms, opinions, and negative assessments caused us to step up our game? What if we used all the resistance against our forward progression to cause us to climb even higher? Birds use the resistance of the wind to climb higher. Fish use the resistance of the current to go further. What if failures and hard times were actually like stepping stones for us to be greater? This process is also called endurance. Failure by itself is only failure. Failure plus action equals greatness. What if this is what James was trying to tell us in James chapter 1 verses 2, 3, and 4? He said, My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up power within you to endure all things. 
And then as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. Endurance means not giving up and not giving in. No matter what you have or haven't accomplished in life, no matter what age you are, no matter what level of ability you have, and no matter how many times you have failed, it's never too late to start all over again. Even God has you covered. In Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 and 23, it says, The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. We are primed for nothing but success. Failure can only happen if we stay down. Muhammad Ali once said, Inside a ring or out ain't nothing wrong with going down. It's staying down that's wrong. When Thomas Edison was asked about all the failures he had in trying to make the light bulb, he said this, I didn't fail 1,000 times. I just learned 1,000 ways how to not make the light bulb. It's never too late to start over. If you remove the fear of what failure can do to you, there is absolutely nothing and no one that can stop you. Why not start a brand new chapter today entitled Victory in Jesus? This is what you are designed to be, a champion, a conqueror. Don't stop. Keep going. Your story is still being written. It's never too late to start over. <laughs>